a great game in prospect, so let's go and join it from the start. The wind is at Galway's backs in the first half. So they attack the goal away to our left-hand side here. Apply pressure with Joe Cooney here. And passing it back. And the first shot of the game by Anthony Cunningham, just to the left and wide. Michael Walsh impressed here against Tipperary three weeks ago. Martin Nocton bats that one down. Prodded forward there by Pat Malone. Nocton once again. Miss hit. Liam Welch brilliantly taken down here. And the referee sees a foul and awards the free into Galway. So can Michael McGrath now open up the scoring with this first free of the match. Nicely tapped in. The opening point by Michael McGrath, who top scored for Connacht last Sunday in the Railway Cup final. John Power, beaten free by Michael Coleman on the 65 metre line. Neat dummy by Michael Coleman. Settling in in his new situation in the number six shirt. Bill Hennessy, who played so well against Tipperary and denied Nicholas English a score that day. Liam Welsh from the All Ireland Club champions, Glenn Moore. Off towards Anthony Prendergast. Welsh, well positioned. DJ Carey, the player, chasing over there with uh, Brendan Durvin. Well, a modest start so far as Michael Phelan takes this sideline ball. DJ Carey puts it under the bar and the sides are level. That's Jerry Kane. Up towards Eamon Burke's corner. Stopped by Pat Dwyer. An All-Star replacement who is uh, with the All-Star party in the Sky Dome. The big hurling matches on St. Patrick's Day. John Farr, the player, very much in the wars there for Kilkenny. And the referee Terence Murray from Limerick opting to throw the ball in between Michael Coleman and John Farr. This builds out here to Anthony Prendergast out towards Power. Jerry Kane going back to cover, didn't get a clean stroke onto it. Comes outside to Prendergast again, now Pete Finity. Sure, he'd much prefer to be operating out from the spaces out in the wing back position, but. Uh, for the sake of the team, in the absence of Sean Tracy, he's in there at full-back. Now Brendan Linsky against Pat Dwyer. Linsky hand-passing it across towards Michael McGrath, who couldn't just hold the pass. He's a little strong. Liam Welch in pursuit. Back here to Martin Nocton. Good-looking shot, and he's put it over the bar. And the sides are level two points apiece. Martin Nocton's first point of the game. Sure, Ollie Welch, the Kilkenny manager, would be a bit concerned after 20 minutes play that only one member of his forward sextet has scored so far, and that's DJ Carey. That's a lovely ball from way out the field, a magnificent point, superbly struck by Joe Cooney, and so it's now four points to two. Pat Ryan. Michael Coleman. This is a searching test of Kilkenny this afternoon by the beaten All-Ireland finalists from last year, Galway. Michael McGrath advancing, having beaten Liam Simpson, stopped splendidly by the superb goalkeeping there of Michael Welch. John Henderson knocking it out. Simpson completing the clearance. Up towards Anthony Prendergast. Joe Cooney now turning. Striking despite the attentions of the midfield player and he's put another long-range ball over the bar. A second in the space of about seven minutes for Joe Cooney and Galway now lead by six points to two. Well, Galway may have got themselves a point, but what about this save a moment or two ago by Michael Welch? Brilliant athleticism. John Parr, industrious. Eamon Morris, who hasn't had too many chances to shine in this game. Dermot Fahey. Last year's All-Ireland final, it's a poor ball, it's gone away to 
to Christy Hefferton against Pete Finnerty. The hand pass and the shot and it's gone over the bar. John Power had stolen in there. Well, there was a goal chance presented to John Power. A point to the outcome. The Galway defence strangely static. Pete Finnerty was rounded. And then the backs stood, it seemed, for a moment and watched. But Ryan waited, but it's Pat Malone who beat him to it in midfield. The other Pat, Pat Dwyer, centre-half back for Kilkenny, one-handed into the centre. Liam Walsh picking it up, 45 metres out from his own goal. Jerry Kane now. Richie Parr trying to nurse it on. David Morrissey trying to get inside the cover of Dermot Fahey. That hasn't been easy in the opening 30 minutes. Pat Ryan here, who plays for a junior club, Emeralds of Erlingford in Kilkenny. Minor All-Ireland win winner in 1981. Inside the last minute of the first half, Martin Nocton. Stopped by Pat Dwyer. Players available to take the pass from him. One of them is Liam Welch. Setting himself up. Down towards Christy Heffernan again. He's now getting the measure of the infinity to Eamon Morrissey. They need another score. And off the goalkeeper is stick. It's gone over the bar. And now it's six points to four. We're in injury time in the first half. And the whistle sounds from uh, Terence Murray. It's been an interesting first half, only two points in it, and Galway going in, the leaders, by six points to four, and I'm sure that Cyril Farrell will have much to say, hey! likewise Ali Walsh, to their teams at half-time. Galway making a switch at the start of the second half, positional switch, which sees Brendan Linsky now on the 40, Joe Rabbit is in at full forward. I say in at full forward, he's brought the full back out as far as the 45 metre line just now. And passed to Linsky. The player is involved in the uh, switch during half time. Kilkenny backs blocking well. And the referee seeing that the ball was uh, touched away. And it's going to be a throw ball, I think. Comes out to Michael McGrath. Turning, looking at the post, shooting and putting it over the bar, his second point of the match, the first in the first half from a free. Now at the start of the second half, he's got another. Michael feeling superb in the air, great catch. A uh, little unlucky to lose that one to Joe Cooney. Up towards Michael McGrath's corner. There against Liam Simpson. Brendan Linsky trying to get in there as well to use his weight. Pat Dwyer stylishly out as far as Michael Phelan. Across it goes towards Christy Hefferton. Can't hold it. Michael Coleman. Nice freestyling player. And it goes to Pat Malone. A sweeping movement forward by Galway. Brendan Linsky selling the dummy on Pat Dwyer. He gets a bit of assistance from Michael Phelan, who got goal side of Linsky, just to make the attack a little bit more difficult for Galway. Forward by Cooney then, as far as Eamon Burke. Sees his namesake Jerry warming up on the sideline. In it goes towards Joe Rabbit. The fullback does well to hold off the full forward. Out comes the goalkeeper, Michael Wells blocks. And it's left behind, and Anthony Cunningham has scored a goal. Anthony Cunningham, the goal scorer, after seven and a half minutes of the second half. So the first goal of the match, Michael Walsh leaves it behind, brilliantly hooked by Rabbit. In came Anthony Cunningham, the first goal of the game. Dermot Fahey, down injured just immediately after that in an off-the-ball incident. So one assumes a collision between the corner forward and the corner back. So Galway then comfortably ahead following that goal. Brendan Linsky back around his own half-back line just momentarily. And the referee is saying that he dropped the hurley and hit the ball away with his foot, and the referee steps in to penalise him. 
Brendan Linsky was protesting that he hadn't very much of an option. DJ Carey scored one point from play in the first half. They need this one from the free, and he's supplied it to them. Six points now for Kilkenny, Galway 1-7. Puckout's gone straight out of play. Eamon Morrissey has been replaced on the Kilkenny team. Michael Phelan. Up it goes. DJ Carey in his stride. A useful opportunity, couldn't take it up. First time. Brilliant goal! Showed what a resourceful forward he is, couldn't pick it up that time, trotted it forward, hit it on the ground delightfully, and beat Ricky Burke in the Galway goal. 13 minutes into the second half. Michael McGrath, his side now ahead by just a point, the free taker. Stopped by Michael Welch on the goal line. Up to Michael Phelan, excelling in the second half. Can he now supply the ammunition that the forwards require? DJ Carey, one of the forwards. Out it comes to uh, Tony Keating. Challenged all the way in there by Anthony, Anthony Prendergast. Joe Cooney, the hand pass across to Pat Malone. Closed down by Pat Ryan, still got his strike in. Up as far as Eamon Burke, turned well. Struck it spooky and it's put it over the bar. There are two between them. Burke, the scorer, his second of the match. Brendan Linsky. Martin Nocton. Stalemate just momentarily. Burke. This is Joe Rabbit. Trying to get in the shot. It's a goal! into the second half splendidly struck from an acute angle by Rabbit after it was set up by Eamon Burke neatly picked up didn't take it round the full back but away into the back of the Kilkenny net well we saw an altercation there a little while ago between Dermot Fahey and Eamon Morrissey and it obviously persisted the referee has sent the two of them off so both sides now down to 14 men out into the middle of the field, Michael Phelan striking it forward, missed by DJ Carey. Not so Christy Hefferton, Liam Fennelly knocking it forward to Carey once again. Oh, he's got another goal! A second goal for DJ Carey. One after 12 minutes, now another after 26 minutes. And again, Christy Hefferton very much involved in the build-up. Liam Fennelly initially inside and DJ picked it up neatly that's a splendid strike and a magnificent goal a point between the teams 2-9 to 2-8 goal with the leaders grandstand finish in prospect here four minutes to go a place in the semi-final in a fortnight's time in Limerick Scaly Grounds against Wexford is the prize Liam Fenley keeping it in field Christy Heffernan missing it the first time, striking it across towards Richie Parr. Blocked down by Tony Keating. Adrian Ronan going in. Picked up again here by Tommy Fogarty. Fogarty going forward, needing support. Adrian Ronan was wide on the right hand side. Instead, it's fallen down to Jerry Kane of Athen Rye. Eamon Burke can't hold it, Liam Welch can, looks up. A point between the teams, Kilkenny trailing just now. Can they get on level terms? Ronan once again, the sides are level. DJ Carey has put the ball over the bar. The scorer of two goals and four points in the match. We're inside the last 40 seconds of normal time.
picked up by Linsky. Fed forward to Jerry Merrick. On to Martin Nocton. Can he get the winner? Bill Hennessy denying him space and the ball, supported by Liam Welch. Comes back out. Tuck. That's Jerry Kane. In fairness, neither side would deserve to lose this one in normal time. But is there a winner there? Christy Heffernan has caught it. They mustn't foul him. Christy with the chance. The team cap down. It's over the bar. Seven seconds into injury time. And the captain with his second point of the afternoon gives Kilkenny the lead. Is that the winner? The referee has looked at the watch. There's still a few seconds left. DJ Carey outside his own 65 metre line. From way out the field, blocked by the goalkeeper, Richie Burke, he's left it behind, supported, however, by Pete Finnerty. It's come out to James E. Brennan, the substitute turning on his left-hand side. High, and that's surely the insurance score. James E. Brennan, I think, has sealed it for the Cats. Kilkenny lead. Two points the margin. A minute of injury time has been played. And the whistle has sounded. It's a magnificent Kilkenny victory. Two points, the winning margin at the end. Two great goals by DJ Carey, who got two four in all. Joe Rabbit got one of the goals in the second half for Galway, but it wasn't to be quite enough. It ends at Semple Stadium. Kilkenny, 2-11. Galway, 2-9. Point. Time to turn our attention now to the other quarterfinals.